Good morning. We had a simple little breakfast of toast and eggs. Pretty good. We're uh, we're about to hit the road. It rained a significant amount last night, so the road out might be a little extra hairy. This whole desert Baja thing isn't much of a desert. It honestly feels a lot more like a jungle. <sighs> the hills are green as hell. Two kilometers off road. Let's do this. Oh Lord Jesus, it's a car. So we're stuck. I got out. Champ's not concerned about anything. We're always on a, we're never in a flat really, so I'm not worried about it because we can always roll backwards or forwards depending on where we're at. But I'm more concerned with sliding off the road. But I don't think that'll be an issue because it's bumpy where there's rocks, but at least there's always rocks. Well, I can... Speaking of rocks that rolled into the road. There's one from last night, I guess. I feel like this just does not portray how rough this road is right now. Like it's barely a walking trail, you know? Good, we got this. Simon's not phased. Champ's not phased. Uh, 1.9 kilometers to go. We've already done 0.2. Sarah's freaking out. Oh man. The rocks are actually helpful. Right? Yeah, the rocks are better than just really rough. Oh. Great. Water cycle still on there? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I see it. So, not much off roading today. So, I think this will cut the off roading for us today. Oh, shit. Turns out it's actually a lot harder getting out of here than I thought. We managed to run into a clay, uh, clay hill. The entire hill is made of clay. The van is very stuck. I tried my best to pick a nice high route, but gravity took its toll and just slid it right into the ditch. So we're gonna roll the motorbike off the back. I think right now it's caught on the actual motorbike rack. So we'll try taking that off and see if we can't get out that way. And then um, if that doesn't work, we'll have to go and source somebody in town. We're not far from a town to just uh, try and save us. This is fun. It is mud. Oh, it's gonna kill us. Champ's not too happy about it. See? Right now we're trying to get everything off the back hitch because it's stuck into the mud so that we can get out, hopefully, because it looks like it might rain again in which case we'll be really fucked, but one step at a time. All right, after some serious frustration, we managed to get the bike started and rolling, and we got down to the local town. This is Rosario, and there's a local tow truck slash mechanic here. He's got a lot of tow trucks, a lot of big trucks, but all of them are two-wheel drive. So we're rooting out some four-wheel drive truck, which is in the back of his lot for him to uh, try and get us out here. Just another step in the adventure, eh? All right, let's, hopefully this works. Well, uh, I don't know. I'm happy to have help. People in Mexico are generally like a hundred times friendlier than they are in the US. Sorry, Americans. Mexico's yeah, got you. a hundred times friendlier than they are in Canada too. Yeah, they're friendlier than us and we're known for our friendliness. Um, but, uh, and there's also dogs everywhere you go, so. I was feeling a little bit down, but I just pet a chihuahua for about five minutes. Sarah's informed me that I have to pay for camping sites now. No yep. more wild camping. Because uh, that's totally my bad for getting us stuck there. I didn't see that the whole road was made of clay. Which is not good for driving two-wheel cars. So... 
We have now reached the vehicle. We have this little Jeep Cherokee. Which apparently is supposed to be able to tow us out. I'm not sure how. Champ's a little unsettled. All right, first attempt not so successful. They snapped uh, some piece of small piece of metal. They're loading it up on a more firm spot right now. We're gonna give it another run. But because the Jeep Cherokee is so light, even though it has four wheel drive, they really have to take a run at it to get the van go. And uh, I'm kind of worried they're gonna damage their truck here, but gotta get out somehow, right? That's it. Found your life inside a book. Oh, mon dieu. Within a box, inside a desk, within a house, within my home. Fuck, they got it out. As a boy, now I gotta get it out of this one kilometer frame. stretch of mud. Inside a mirror, he locked his shame, and in his eyes that I, I hadn't seen in days. Mucho grande. We've uh, managed to make our way out and uh, these guys have managed to understand our really terrible Spanish. Saved our ass. Thank you so much. Salud. Salud. Found a crystal vial in a snow globe On a rooftop beside yourself and a field coat And you'll be gone A scarf in the wind and I'll ricochet Light off the beads through your skin and all right, we're stopping back in town. We are, I don't wanna say we're like on cloud nine, but we're certainly a lot happier. And uh, we're gonna temper that happiness with some delicious lobster burritos. Day two of conquering my fear. I had a lobster bun in the East Coast, now I have a lobster burrito. Sarah's very happy about lobster burritos, as you can tell. I'm gonna kill you. She's gonna kill me. Mm. Interestingly enough, this place has been a pit stop for the Baja 1000 for a long, long time. And it's been around for 70 years. We just stumbled upon it. That's pretty good luck. Cigarette was longer when you lit it, and if it's not a cry for help, well I'm sorry, but you must be wrong, cause I can see it. Your eyes suck me straight deep into your worries. And how long till you reach the end of the road? Well, I suppose life against your fallen windshield, and it took to me your evergreen tea, and that's the last drop that I'll take as it fell from me. Oh. I would describe the lobster burrito as interesting. I don't know, I don't think it's a fully fledged idea. Maybe I'll have a different one some other time and think differently. Yeah, verdict is, it might be a very famous pit stop for people, but uh, not for us. And, and the food was, well, it was good, but the street tacos we had a couple days ago were definitely better. So we're gonna hit the road, we're gonna make some miles. Been here all not for long, not for long.
abandoned building here. I think it used to be a museum. It's a lot of this abandoned stuff. I need to do more research on Mexican history because honestly I don't know much. Within my home As a boy Within a frame Inside a mirror He locked his shame And in his eyes That I, I hadn't seen In days And found a crystal Vial in a snow globe On a rooftop beside yourself And a field coat And he'll be gone a scarf in the wind and all the ricochet light off the beats through your skin and oh you Not feeling the Baja vibes right now. The consistent thing I've found all across Baja so far is that it looks like they built if they built anything, they built it about fifty years ago and nobody's touched it since then. There are potholes that can swallow a car everywhere you go. And any road that's not the major high road is dirt. And calling it a road, honestly, is kind of an insult to roads everywhere. This shit is just terrible. So I don't think we'll be straying off of that main highway again for the rest of the trip. Which kind of sucks, but at the same time, I can't do anything about that. I'm not in a Baja 1000 off-roading monster vehicle, and just the damage alone makes to my suspension makes it not worthwhile. So, never mind getting stuck, or you know, rolling the vehicle, or rolling over a landmine or something else. It's probably in this godforsaken dirt road. Okay, so after consulting the locals and doubling back um, and then going down Highway 1 some more, we realized, no, no, this terrible donkey trail of a road is the major highway of Baja. This is it. This is as good as it gets. We have to take it. We have to take this thing for the next 30 kilometers. It'll be dirt. It is about 10 kilometers an hour of some of the roughest dirt road I've ever ridden. And, uh... Just in case that wasn't fun enough, it's starting to rain. In the desert, again, every day. Every day, every day. Love it! I just love it. So good. All day long, all day long. This is shaping up to be a very, very difficult day. And it is the southernmost, this is the southernmost tip we're going in Baja. So this is the penultimate moment of Baja. And um, it kind of sucks. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not riding a high note right now. We'll get through this. I'll watch the That was 50 kilometers. It took us about two hours, two and a half hours to drive. That was um, very, very brutal. I'm extremely sore. Holy crap. We made it. But we made it. We fucking made it. Is, it. it is properly dark out right now. We need to find a place to pull over. Pronto, driving in Mexico, even if it's Baja, in the dark, does not tempt me in the slightest. I'm not worried about cartels. Not worried about crooked cops. I'm worried about damn potholes. <laughs> so, we're a place to camp, pronto. All right, guys, that was some good news. We made it. It's an official, legit, real truck stop. I haven't seen one of these since I crossed the border. I'm just, I'm like, it's like an oasis for me right now. This is, I'm so tired. And like they have showers for like 30 pesos and they have Wi-Fi, which you pay by the megabyte and it's bright and it's like way out from everything. Like there's generators running everything. There's no power lines running into this place. But uh, oh boy, am I ever grateful. <sighs> we're gonna, we're gonna have a little pasta yeah, we're gonna have some showers, some pasta. I, I don't, Mike, I don't mean to complain. Okay, my life is really cool and I get to do some really cool stuff. But today was one of those tough days for me and uh, I'm glad I made it through. I'm glad I made it through in one piece. <sighs> Ba's been crazy. Oh, you've been here all not for long, not for long.